Good morning, welcome back. We're in the mid 20s right now. It is in the upper teens in Paris, 15, 17 in Charleston, Mattoon area, closer to 30 down to the south, uh, southeast here, mid 20s, Washington, 24, Lagodi. Temperatures are going to climb as we move through the rest of the day just a little bit. So we're going to drop a little bit more, and then by the time of sunrise, you know, temperatures going to be the lower 20s. That's just where they're going to stay all day long. We're not really going to see a large amount of change as we move through this afternoon like we did yesterday. Now we have plenty of clear sky. Now we're going to have mostly sunny conditions as we move through parts of the day, and that sunlight will help when it comes to snow melt, but we're not going to see snow melt as fast of a pace as we had yesterday. Now you can see our future cast here. We have off and on clouds, and this is what I'm talking about. We can never really get rid of the cloud cover today, but they're not attached to rain, snow. We're going to stay dry, and we're going to have plenty of sunlight as we move through parts of this morning. You can see this is around lunchtime. Sunlight farther to the south, cloud cover farther to the north here. Rockville, Paris, Clinton, Cayuga, more cloud cover, but look what happens as we move through the rest of the afternoon. You see the cloud cover try to stretch out farther to the southwest here, covering most of the northeastern part of the Wabash Valley from Terre Haute all the way to Greencastle here. But farther to the south, still plenty of sunlight, and that's going to increase temperatures as we move through the rest of the day. Now we have the cloud cover trying to become more and more widespread tonight. But again, we're still dry and we're going to have clear skies during parts of the night with the clear sky taking over after midnight through early tomorrow morning. So our temperatures are going to go from the lower 20s this afternoon to the lower teens over the course of the night tonight and early morning tomorrow. So that's a significant cool down. So anything you need to do outside early is going to be cold, bitterly cold for some. You can see mostly cloudy skies, calm conditions though. The winds are going to die down and that will go a long way with how comfortable it feels. And when the winds do start picking up again tomorrow, they're from the south. They're bringing in warmer air and look at our highs lower 40s. So whatever snow does hasn't already started melting is going to definitely start tomorrow and we're going to see temperatures stay above 40 as we move through the day on Wednesday as well. And this is going to create again significant snow melt for days at a time. So watch for a little bit of a mess as all the snow that we've received begins melting over these next several days here. And even when our temperatures drop Thursday, we're still above freezing in the mid 30s with mostly sunny dry weather.